Hello, my name is Aisha Cheng, and I just graduated from class 2022. I came to DSC International School since grade 10, and I've been here for around two to three years. So originally, I didn't plan to transfer when I was in local school, but once I hit Form 4, which is grade 10 there, we have to, do, we have to choose three main electives to follow for the rest of our three years. And I found out that path is not really suitable for me, as I believe a lot of people at my age are like me, that they don't know what they want to study for three years when we were so young. So I looked into this school curriculum, and I think what is good about the DSC and the Ontario curriculum is that each six months, you can switch different courses. So that means you can touch base and get a lot of hands-on activities and get a good introduction to a different course, which this school really have a really large variety. I, I think what I really like about the school is the atmosphere at itself. It doesn't... As you switch different classes, you really meet a lot of different people and you can, maybe it's also a Canadian atmosphere where all the teachers are really friendly and they actually, they would, it's not that they only say hi and bye to you. They actually care about, oh, are you feeling okay? That, or because we have a lot of assignments, we have a lot of tasks in, within a week, but they always check up on you and they always want to make sure that if you're following up and having this group of community, there's not a lot of bad energy as there's not uh, there it's easy to have bullying in local school but actually I don't really find much in here everybody is very cohesive <laughs> the environment is very cohesive including for both students and teachers so I think here the course itself they offer this chance for students and teacher to bond I think the proudest moment in my in this school would be actually coming here is a really good decision and finding, I actually found what I like because I never found much interest in my previous school. I think having, knowing that I have interest in business and psychology is, I think is one of the proudest moments. And the projects that came from those courses, I would still say is one of the proudest one I made so far. So my future plan would be pursuing definitely the two fields that I'm interested with is in maybe finding some intersection between the psychology field and also business field and maybe mix with something like data analytics to also and cope with the trend of the future. So I got offers from both business, business and psychology field. Within Hong Kong, I got business offer from Chinese University of Hong Kong, Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. And within Canada, I got both psychology and business offers in University of Toronto, University of British Columbia, Western University, University of Waterloo, and also Queen's University. I like having a group of peers who is also fighting with me or with uh, struggling with me at the same time, but we're enjoying the process and also how we can easily just go to a teacher's room and say, hey, I'm trouble with this, or we just want a slight chit chat. It's actually really like a big family and they do allow a big flexibility in their school like when we have free period we can just do our own thing and do homework at the same area but everyone is very easy going in this school one of the good thing one of the big difference with local school is that between staff and teachers and students there is not a big sense of hierarchy so you can actually feel everyone is treating you in a friendly manner